Hi, everybody. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to a special, I say that every week. Every week is special, right? A special thing, Joe, with Christina and Brooke. Today, we're going to talk about an awesome topic. I say that too every week. I got to work on my stuff, guys. <laughs> They're all awesome topics, though, so it's okay. Thanks, awesome. It's a special week. I love life. Shoot me. Right? Of the Lego song. Everything is awesome. Yes. I've been singing that in my head all week. How'd you know that? It's awesome. <laughs> so, um, me there. <laughs> I just have to say, guys, doesn't Brooke look amazing today? She just has like this incredible glow about her. Just letting <laughs> everyone know here that before we logged on, Christine does <laughs> this to me every time I wear lotion with bronzer. So at the end of the call, I'll go look for the lotion and come back to you guys next week with the yeah. name. Post post the lotion with bronzer because apparently I'm digging it. I do love a good bronzer. So speaking of which, where the focus goes, no, that's not our topic. Yeah. It is. Energy flows. Look at that. Where the focus goes, energy flows. We're focusing on Brooks good bronzer today. <laughs> she is looking good. <laughs> I'm going to jo- throw it over to Joe. Joe, kick us off. Let's keep us crazy girls on track today. Totally. So where the, where the focus goes, the energy flows. One of the things that I love about this dynamic that we have in these videos that we're putting out is that if, if for anybody who's watching them, like from week to week, I think we are seeing trends emerge and how we approach things very differently and yet still consistently, which I think is one of the coolest things that's a part of what we're doing. So for me, I came to the, I'm coming from the same place. I feel like I'm always coming from, which is like questioning the question, questioning the topic. Mm. Like, so where focus goes, energy flows. I immediately thought of like, well, does it like, yeah, are we being, that's something that we're consistent with. Right. And maybe this is just exposing my own vulnerabilities and the things that historically I've been poor at where there's an inconsistency between me saying, for example, for years and years and years, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm committing. I'm going to lose some weight. I'm, I'm buying the Bowflex, right? Like, uh, like Peter Quill does in, in the, uh, the, the Marvel movies. I'm doing it. I'm buying a Bowflex. And yet, like, two weeks later, it's like, where's the Bowflex? Like, you're not doing it. You're still eating donuts. You're still having McDonald's. Like, are you really? <laughs> so I, where, where, what I was thinking was, how often we will like declare something. We'll say, man, I really need to focus on X, Y, or Z. And whether or not we're practically going through the steps we need to, to ensure that our energy is actually flowing in that direction. Wow, Joe. So saying like, man. sufficiently flipped me to see I, your point of view. I really. <laughs> Damn. It's I just really a question. Know. No, it's I'm, true. Where are you I'm focused? Coming from Ah, okay. I don't know. Is it? I'm just asking the question. Like, is it? Is, is it for me? Is mm-hmm. it, and it's maybe more of like an introspective question, where I'm just doubting myself or questioning myself of like, hey, Joe, you're saying that this and this and this is your focus. Mm-hmm. Is your energy flowing there though, as it should? Mm-hmm. If it really was your focus, is there a yeah. consistency there, or is there an inconsistency there? And only because if the inconsist, if if there is an inconsistency, I need to know that now because then I can rectify it. Yeah. Then I can do what I need to do to make sure like, wait, Joe, you're saying that, you know, becoming healthier is a, is a priority. That's where your focus is your energy flowing that way. Yeah. Are you committing time for that? Mm-hmm. Is it something that you're being mindful of? Mm-hmm. Or is it just words? Are you just putting things out there into the ether and hoping that they kind of connect with something? Are good, well, you know? yeah. yeah, I think um, you kind of nailed it at the end as well. Um, you know, is it just words? Is it a vision? Is it you checking in on yourself hourly? Thinking Grow Rich talks about like the most successful people set goals, take action and reevaluate them hour by hour. So if you're saying focus goes and energy flows in that direction, yeah, it's not, I don't think it is just saying, okay, I am, you know, my affirmation today is I am going to be happy and the universe is going to support me. Yeah. Yeah, You need the action to back it up. Exactly. So right. I was actually thinking about this, this same exact thing this morning. I totally just railroaded broke. Sorry. No, it's fine. (laughs) I love it. 
excited. Railroad um, way. Yeah. I set an intention for myself on Monday and I checked in today and I was like, I didn't do that once. My intention was to focus on my daily eating habits because when I get really busy, it goes out the window. I don't eat all day. I go, go, go. And then I binge at night. And I was like, okay, no, no, no. I'm going to be more regular. I'm going to check in. I'm going to pack stuff. I'm going to bring stuff. I'm going to document and, and eat throughout the day. Checked in today. And I was like, Monday? Nope. Tuesday? Mm -mm. Wednesday? Crap, it's Friday. I didn't do that once. Well, maybe that is to your point, Joe. So yeah, Christina, you set the intention on Monday, but you did not focus on it at all this week. You came back to it and said, did I do it today? But you didn't start your day thinking about it. So you started rethinking about it, but you didn't remind yourself, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And this is how I'm going to take action. And I'm going to plan on being accountable at this time. So accountability is a must. I mean, accountability is knowing what you're going to be doing to take action, when you're going to have it done and how you're going to be getting it done. And then who's holding you accountable? Are you holding yourself accountable? Or is a friend holding you accountable? Are you posting on social media? Do you have a coach? Like what, what's going on here? I think Brooke, what you just said is so key especially when sometimes the things that we choose to focus on are not things that our energy would naturally be wanting to lend itself to. Mm -hmm. So like if I woke up tomorrow and was like, you know what? I'm going to focus on like just hanging out and not doing work. Girl, my energy is going to flow into that without a problem. I don't need check in. I don't need accountability, girl. I'm good. You come, you come talk to me next week. I'll be fine. I'm I'm fine. To your boss right now. <laughs> I love it. But she knows because we talk oh, about this. Like, oh, I'm not worried. Joe is a workhorse. So oh, I believe it. Yeah. On the flip side of that, if, no. if, if you go into it knowing that the thing that I'm focusing on runs, like it's, it's a difficult thing. It's a, it's a thing that runs contrary to what comes easy to me. Those week, those check-ins are even more important. It can't be like, oh, I'll check in five days from now. Nah, it's got to be like a day-to-day, hour-to-hour, 12 hour. hour. Yes, if it's something that our that we don't naturally have a strength or that our energy doesn't naturally flow into. We have and to force still, it. So a uh, previous conversation we've had, like Brooke was getting us into like the 21 days of a habit. Right. And then on that 21st day, it's like, okay, now my focus flows, right. You just, it just goes. Yeah, totally. Wow. Read my mind. And also like, okay, so not only the habit, like, We've been doing this for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the habit of talking about habits. What was it, 21 <laughs> days ago that we talked about this? <laughs> Three weeks ago? <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. So doing all that and then also not being shameful if you don't do it, right? So where focus goes, energy flows, but if you beat yourself up and you shame yourself and you didn't think that you meant it exactly to where you wanted to, um, then you're not going to get there. And because you're focusing on the shame and not the results and the solutions. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. And a part of that is also expectations. And I don't know if we've spoken about this. If not, maybe that'd be a good thing to think about. It's like when we decide we're going to focus on something. When we're focusing I'll on something, them in here right now. <laughs> like, what are the expectations that we're setting on our, like, that we're establishing for ourselves? Like, let's say Christina's example with the good eating. Like, let's say it's been months and months and you've just been like recklessly doing whatever you want. If the focus, like, you know what? I'm gonna eat perfect this week. I'm gonna have, you know, three, six, nine, twelve. Let's say money. I'm gonna have fifteen perfect meals. Okay, you could focus on that, but man, that's a really high expectation that if you don't meet, you're, it's going to be really easy to meet yourself for it later. I'm sorry, guys. No, girl, that's the universe saying, Joe, just shut up already. We get it. Shut up. Let these other two way cooler ladies talk. I'll get out the way. I listen. Yeah, I need, I need some morning, Joe, also. Aw, send it your way. Uh, awesome. So when we originally thought of this topic, 
Joe's seen this picture like 18 times. He'd be like, shut up with the stupid picture. <laughs> so, you know, just ignore him over there, rolling his eyes at me. I take it. I was, it was so great, you guys. I gotta tell. This is what I thought of. Driving into work, it's the first week of school. Like, you know, we're stressed, we're anxious. We want to make sure that we're safe and we're getting it right. And we get to see our kids and all of these crazy things. And I was really big on like global perspective and see the brighter side and we get to have connections. We get to be in person because where your focus goes, you know, the energy flows. Um, so how perfect and beautiful that as I'm driving to work, you can't make this up. I am dead center. I mean, maybe you could, but it's real, y'all. I got proof. I'm going to show you a dead center of the sky breaking in two. Half of the sky is like torrential downpour. Half of the sky is bright, beautiful sunshine. It is just the most amazing representation of oh life, God. right? Yes. Like the two, the person sitting in North Boca is in the beautiful sunshine. The person in South Boca is in the most terrible rainstorm ever. And they're both right. They're both right. Their perspective is 100% true. Like, it's terrible. It's awful. Unless you're Joe, because you love the rain. <laughs> we could spit it that way too, right? Um, but if you stand back and look at big picture, it's like, hold on a second. Look at what's on the other side of that rainstorm. Look at what you're about to drive into. The most beautiful blues, the most beautiful sky. Focus there, because that's contagious. You focus on the rain cloud, that's contagious too. So kindness is contagious, anxiety is contagious. So you get to choose, it's not always easy, but you get to choose how you show up. And you get to choose and create that climate and that culture and, and live in the sunshine, even when it's like pouring all around you, like just keep your little, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be Love quiet. That. This is what Joe has to hear all the time. So sorry, but it's just like things that happen in my brain. And I'm like, oh, nature tells us things. It's just so wise and beautiful. Oh, wow. So I can tell that it appears that you've had some sleep this week. Nope. <laughs> okay, some fake sleep. I'm about to crash hard. I'm not gonna lie. I think the earliest I stopped working this week was 10:30. Last night was 1:30. Oh, wow! Got here early, but it's it's the first week of school. We're conditioned oh, as educators. The first week yeah. of school, I think we're just equipped to not have sleep this week. As long as it's not October and we're still doing this, it's fine. Well, there's there's more important things coming up in October that we need to focus on. Hey, Joan, show us. <laughs> I love it. ADHD Ed Camp Eventbrite. I, I mean, I think there's about a hundred tickets that have already been purchased. Um, they're free. And we haven't even told anyone about it. So get your tickets while you can before the 300 is sold out. Good reminder, Brooke. It's a hot topic. Everybody's losing focus these days. Whether you have ADHD or you don't, it's just the environment we're living in. So come hear from awesome professionals who are experts in the field, get some strategies, have some fun. We'll all be there. So it'll be great. Okay. All right. Well, you have an awesome day, you two. You too. Congratulations on an awesome first week back at work, at school with the students. That's Things are living. Yeah. yeah. It's what yeah. keeps me going, not sleep right now. It's, it's the kids. And the energy. I love that, that collaboration. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Happy Sunday. I need to stop the recording. <laughs>